Hello, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you are watching Mainframe Tutorial CICS Part 8. So in my last video I was explaining about uh, the symbolic map and its structure and what are the various different fields we get and uh, its importance. So and also we saw the difference between the physical map and symbolic map. So in this video I would like to share with you about the different ways of displaying a map to user and in this video first uh, I will be telling you uh, about the displaying how to display a map manually. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So before I start of telling you how to display a map, uh, we should know one important thing what is nothing but about when you should know the difference between the transaction and task and everything. So here I here it is. I will take an example of an ATM. Normally we go to an ATM, the first what? What is the first step we do? Uh, we place our debit card or credit card insert and gets a, a one as soon as we inserted the card it gets a prom prompts for then a pin. So second step would be it validate the pin if it is correct it will go to the next screen else it will exit from the screen and uh, populate that your pin is incorrect and please correct it. So the third step would be like assume uh, your pin is correct and it went to the next screen having different options like uh, you'll be centering a uh, balance inquiry saving current or withdrawal so I uh, I'm assuming I'm taking an uh, withdrawal so you have selected withdrawal and done and entered the amount and the uh, withdrawal is completed so you have selected a withdrawal option and uh, it has a transaction uh, you are you have withdrawn total amount and it's completed first step you finally you get an acknowledgement in the form of received right so here you go all these individual steps are considered to be an a task so whatever the steps we are seeing here first step uh, placing a credit card validating pin going to next screen accepting uh, entering the amount withdrawal and everything each and individual step is called as in a transaction and e and these all tra I mean sorry task uh, all these tasks are merged together we are calling it as in a transaction right so in the same way in order to call a map or a program we need to have a transaction ID defined then only you can see that particular map or the particular transaction is initiated so when I say about the transaction transactions are divided into two types that is system defined and and user defined system defined that is which whatever we are using it that is CEDA CEMT CECI CESF these are all our system defined transaction which is all of four bytes right in the same way we can define a user if def user defined transactions it would be normally of four bytes for example I'm defining my own transaction as a TRZ01 so so whenever you code a program that you define your map which is have which is working with a COBOL DB2 or COBOL DB2 VSAM and everything so you should have an each uh, it should it should initiated with the transaction then only uh, your map or your operations gets performed so now coming back to your point that is displaying a map manually so I hope this was the various point we need to consider so just to recap it I, I, I assume that you have created the PDS member and you written your BMS macro program and you have compiled it and it loaded into your low, low library and uh, you have entered into an online screen so whatever the, I, I in my last video I gave you the steps how to enter the online screen and you have successfully registered your map set uh, using an, a CEDA definition command DEF command and that is uh, processing program table CICS supply table which will contain all the online programs right all these your map set all the programs are loaded into this PPT so install your map set after defining you have installed your map set using CE CEMT install or CEMT new copy so that is to copy the object program from patch to online if it is not installed you cannot view this map set so that is this is the very important thing so initiate the transaction that is using the now the finally you need to initiate the transaction that is you need to you want to send the map to the screen so you have to send it with the CECI sorry this is CECI CECI sent a map map name and the map set name finally that's it you in this way you can define you can send your map this is this is the manual way of displaying your map the final step is you want it if you want to sign off you want to log off from the CIS screen just you give CESF -E and log off so that's it uh, that's it this is the way you uh, have to display you would be displaying your map manually before 
before we uh, do any operations with the program or something uh, you you might be having a set of different maps you need to code it you are so instead you have you are you're trying to define 10 maps so first uh, you will be defining uh, and you would be following all these steps and you would be testing it initially initially you have to test it whether all the all the fields or the positions are particularly displaying on the screen exactly in 24 by 80 columns and everything so once it is done you have to sign off then you will be coded you will be start coding your program and you will be start working on the things so that's it so as i said in my last video i will be giving you differentiate uh, uh, tell you about the different tables used online so you are saying that you are defining map you are installing map you are initiating the transactions and uh, blah 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 so how is this how is the process happening internally in the background of the cis yes that's that's what here it is so i can i can say the important table table tables are pct table ppt fct and rct so these are the very important tables while working on this so what is pct pct is nothing but program control table it will contain all the transaction id and its corresponding program on the same way ppt is a processing program table it has a program name and its corresponding load libraries at ct file control table it has a logical and physical file names it is mainly when we do, when we work with the files when you are you are using your files in your program so all the uh, it has to be registered over here all the i mean physical and logical file name should be registered in this file control table so resource control table rct it contains a program name and its corresponding plan name whenever you are working in the R db2 program so rct table is uh, it should the plan should be registered the plan and the program name should be registered in this rct right so let's give uh, let's uh, see let's debug the program right right so assuming that i have created my own system def uh, user defined transaction i am into the online screen just i have uh, every transaction is entered in the left side of this corner on the top corner uh, uh, the xy01 is my transaction id so once i hit enter after typing this transaction id so what it happens is it checks into the, it goes to the pct table and it searches for the uh, transaction id that is xy01 yes it has a corresponding program name yes it's the programming it, it is the programming naming having is uh, it searches for the load library in ppt yes it is it is available in this load library that's it your transaction your map get initiated and displays on the screen in the same way in fct as i said it, it will have the uh, logical name and it's a physical file name the whatever whatever the ingestion you'll be giving with the dd dd, DD name ddd is the name right in the same way uh, this is the physical name and uh, this will be the logical name and the rct the plan name and its uh, program name so that's it these are the important tables that we need to understand that's all for that's all uh, for this today's video uh, in the next video i would be coming uh, i would be letting you details more details about uh, how do we display the map in application program and here we will be, i will be coming up with a complete cobal program and uh, uh, what are the state various steps what are the important steps we need to quote uh, for the cics when working with the application program it would be interesting so i hope you have enjoyed with this, this video uh, if you have any comments uh, likes or share uh, kindly subscribe me on youtube channel keep watching this have a great and wonderful day